Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to my Inktober series. Today is October 12th and the time really flies. So let's get to the point straight away. Today I will be again using this watercolor book from Hane Mole. It will be linked down in the description box. Actually my Amazon storefront so you can find all the supplies I do like to use and recommend it there. And also I will be using this pencil. This is a 4B, but you can use a lighter one. I'm using this darker one because I want my pencil marks for you to be visible. Also, I will be using these ink pens from Etcher. These are 01, 03 and 05. And also some of the brushes. This is a Raphael brush, can hold a quite amount of water and one little bit smaller brush. This is Dyna, also you can find them in my storefront, Amazon storefront. So let's get to the point. Let's not make this a longer than it needs to be. So first I will start today. I will start with my cupcakes, drawing of cupcakes. I did do a few sketches here. I was thinking we could do a three of those and just gonna start with the first one. Just do some of the triangular shape without the lower part, right? Just simple, quite, quite simple. And I will just first place them all onto my paper in those triangles, triangular shapes, but actually these are squares like that. And the third one can be maybe even higher than all of those. Or I could have I could have even done that one overlapping with the previous one, but I won't do that. I will just keep it simple. So those are gonna be our three cupcakes. We do need a little bit of that cupcake here sticking out like that. And then we have this is somewhat a circular, half circle. So do the half circle and then from there do draw do um, draw in a few of those somewhat like a teardrop I would say shapes just going from one center here one a little bit thicker like that one going from this one and then the last one here like that. So I will just put on top of this one a little cherry. So that's going to be our first cupcake and I'm going to also add those creases. So when we do start with our ink So as you can see, my folds are the widest in the central part and going inside there are a little bit, they're a little bit thinner. So that's the first one done. I'm gonna do like that just to make it look as it just goes over. It's not poof glued on top but just goes a little bit over. So that's the first one done. For the second one we'll do this quite simple one. So we do have this one just had risen up to be a quite tall muffin like that. Again half the circle and then on top of that one we do have this spillage like that. Mm, yummy. And again, on top of that one, we can do maybe a strawberry like that. So it's going to be our strawberry. And again, I do need those creases. In our cupcake, like that. So 
so that's the second one and I just want to do erase that so I don't get confused with those lines like that and then for the third one we're gonna do this one and again do that a lower part of the cupcake that is just peeking through and then we have those lines we're gonna start as a like that just on the other side also again like that and just layer it one on top of each other and going up it's gonna be a slightly smaller like that and then on top just one small drizzle and we will do a few sticks like that and one maybe here sticking so that's gonna be our third cupcake again those creases here like that so you can see we're doing it again quite simple not gonna overcomplicate anything like that so those are gonna be our three cupcakes now that we're done with our basic sketch we can just move on to our inking and I'm gonna use first this 05 ink and this time I will start with this one because I do want to erase my pencil markings so I don't smudge them so I will just start with that one do first here then this that's the first one I'm gonna erase actually I forgot to do those little sticks so then I'm gonna do just the entire that black completely so now we'll just erase that like that so we can move on to the second one like that and then just add our cupcake on top and this is going to be A wiggly line and then we have our strawberry at the top or some other fruit like that again let's erase that and for the third one So that's also our third one done. Just need to erase that. Like that. So these are our cupcakes. I'm just gonna do one more thing right here. This is October 12th, like that. It's 
So now that we are done with our basic sketch, we can just add a little bit more of the details. And for that, I will be using this just a slightly smaller ink pen. This is 01. So I'm just going to add some details. I know this side is going to be in shadow. So I will just go over on that side add a little bit of the shading there like that and down also so like that a little bit more So to make that side quite dark. And also on these few, but I will just place here on these. These are gonna go here, have its shadows on this side. If we are looking at somewhere somewhat from the front. Just a few lines here in the central part and also the last couple of those and I believe I'm gonna do the same thing for all the cupcakes I think I'm gonna add that same shading on all of those cups like that so just a little bit here like that and also I will add a little bit shading on this side and also just slight above our more filling on top like that and then do some shading here just following the curve of that cupcake like that Just a few also from the center lines. Again, just try to follow the the curve of your embellishment of that cream up top. like that and we have some cherry top just gonna add a little bit yep that's it I'm gonna also add just some of the some inking at the bottom just to make that that lower line synced with the other parts of my cupcake so that's gonna be the first cupcake and I'm just gonna add some also lines shed for the shadow so it doesn't look our cupcakes are standing are floating in the air so that's the first one done I'm gonna go to the second one so do the same thing here just first on the side also for this one second one you can definitely speed this up if you 
if you don't want to watch the entire process again because it's going to be that part is going to be the same as for the previous cupcake just adding those shadows like that some here There it goes, next one. And this one also has on this side. I will just add just a tiny tiny bit also on this side because on that one we're switching those shadows and moving them on the left side of the cupcake so I just wanted that softer transition that smoother transi transition between those that have shadows on the right side and those that have shadows on the left side creases like that the last one and there you go and I will just again add a little few of those lines here and there also like that. So I'm gonna darken this part also up like that and the upper part somewhat. Then we have our cupcake. I'm just gonna add some of the shading here and also we can add a little bit more just beneath the line did like that just some of the here and also Like that and up top we do have some here just beneath that one and also I'm gonna do some shading on this side like that. So also I will add a little bit more of the here just beneath. Darken that part up. Like that and then do a few just lines. Again, following the as best as you can the shape of our cupcake of our those cream creams are on top creams on top. Just 
just see how the your cupcake is moving and uh, how it is shaped and then just follow that shape like that so I think we're done with the inking for our three cupcakes so now we can get to our watercolors for the watercolors I will be using this quite fun colors and for the first one I will use some these are gonna be a yellow ochre and chrome yellow just some very very nice yellowish colors and I'm gonna add some water there and also just go slightly around like that so my paint just bleeds when I start adding it and you can see how this is a very rich and happy color happy yellow and some yellow ochre also just at the bottom part I'm sorry there is a light changing in my studio because there is it's a cloudy day today so I just noticed that the light is getting darker and lighter so you probably also can notice that it's changing I'm sorry about that but it is what it is right fall is starting so and also I will get a little bit of that burnt umber to the to the cupcake itself to that not the green part but the oh dough I guess it's dough so also I will use a little bit of this is going to be some blue Actually, I do have here from Etcher palette some ultramarine and I'm gonna mix it in here with, I do have some brown here, so I'm gonna mix it into gray and I'm just gonna add some grayish color here onto my cupcake cup, actually cupcake cup going to pick up a little bit of that yellowish and add on the spots where I did paint that shadows I will add some of the some of that grayish color like that it looks nice and we have one cute cherry on top and for cherry I'm gonna use this vermilion color a very red like that so we have a cherry on top and I'm gonna do a couple of splatters like that that's gonna be our first and if you want to pick up a little bit of the paint or add a few splatters just to make that slightly looser that's fine I'm gonna also add the bottom part and with that same grayish color I will do the rest of the cupcake cups for my cupcakes a little bit of that ultramarine a little bit of the darker brown to create that grayish color like that and also on the last one you don't have to make it perfectly perfect so some here again details like that and I will do a second cupcake I will do magenta I have some magenta here so why not I will just make that nice thing on the top magenta whatever it is and also I do have some deep pink here and I was just thinking no I'm gonna use actually burnt umber I'm gonna use burnt umber just looking for that burnt umber there it is I'm gonna use that burnt umber for this part 
cupcake make it look somewhat like a, like a chocolate top like that so mm, yummy <laughs> there you go and also for the dough itself I'm gonna use this yellow ochre and a little bit more of the burnt umber at the bottom so like that that's gonna be our second one and I'm gonna get some black and do the central part here black so a couple of splatters like that and we do want maybe just slight spillage here also on this one not too much so I'm gonna get just a little bit like that for the second one and for the third one I'm gonna get just looking which color I do want to make that one <laughs> That cream you know I'm gonna use the same colors I don't want to too much so I'm gonna get some yellow ochre just add add it here and there and then I'm gonna get burnt umber again add that one and cupcake is going to be also in burnt umber and a little bit of dark brown just stop it in like that and I'm gonna get again some magenta and just add that also here this one definitely does look quite delicious also do a couple of splatters I'm gonna get some magenta again and get some slight black this is just a black so I will add that black here onto my cupcake cup for the cupcake also on the other side like that and for the last one a little bit just to create even more contrast so just that black like that and do a few lines here where the shadows are with again that slight black like that I do want to add a little bit more of you know what why not I'm gonna just get a little bit of the viridian because that's how crazy I am just a little bit of the green greenish blue here and this is some crazy cream and some again that burnt umber here at the bottom I will just now dry that so this is now dry and some of the details I have drawn are a little bit uh, less visible at this point so I will just add a little bit more of the shadowing here and there because as I said now that we added watercolors they just got lost like 
like that and some just a few here like that so also I will again get a little bit more of that white gouache you can use here white pen that would also be fine and just add a few highlights on my cakes with a white gouache like that so I, where I do find it to be fit I'm just adding a few highlights like that and this is definitely going to actually that one and this is definitely going to dry a lighter so that's something that you can have in mind like that and also I'm gonna get more of that white gouache and do some splatters on top like that and I will do a few splatters with that magenta I used like that just get that do a few of those and that's it we're done I'm not gonna do anything more I like them as it is as they are just gonna do one more thing actually I'm gonna get that zero five used I got those lines that I did here also got lost so I want to add those like that so that's it I believe we're done with our cupcakes and our day 12 time really does fly so guys I hope you liked this video and enjoyed it and maybe you want to give it a try and if you do like it please hit the like button share it and comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that would really mean a lot to me and i hope you like this series and you are joining in your drawing and painting with me every day daily <laughs> and it's super fun why not you know i'm trying to keep it simple and for me and for you so i guess it's not something that it's not possible to do Again, thank you so much for joining and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!